we could really play some good football from second, third, fourth. Now, with, uh, your, your pregame message to the team is so good who we, who we thought we were. Well, I, I think I think any time, you just want to play good, solid football. And I, I think that's what we were able to put together and say, but, you know, we're still on the journey. And we always want to get better next week. You know, you want to settle and say, oh, we, we got to win. Keep getting better with the and then that's our message, and, and oh, that's what we have to do if we're going to be successful. Now, uh, we saw the big numbers going a little seesaw with them at the beginning of the game through the first quarter, almost through the second quarter. What did you tell the team to just, you know? Well, give Alabama State credit. They're a good football team, and they made plays, you know, and their quarterback made some nice, nice runs, and the receiver made a big play. And, you know, we, we just settled down and started playing better assignment football in the second, third quarter. Yeah, we went 26 for 33 for 305. Yeah. And a nice uh, throw to uh, Tuck. Yeah, so John, let's talk about John that. played a John Gibbs game. And that's what he's done through his career here. So, uh, just, again, just broken to death. And he's just been a great football player. Uh, any standouts that, you know, we know they talk about the big names. Any. Uh, Go look at the film. You know, Tucker made a big catch. John had, had, had a big catch there. I thought Darren Moody played really good on defense. You know, just you know, and you go back and look at the film and see the guys that uh, did a lot of good stuff. Mike Brooks so did some really good things on defense. So, you know, you go back. I think Bragg had a nice couple of runs. Ran the ball hard and ran the ball hard. Uh, you know, and up front I thought we did a good job blocking. So, uh, but we'll go back and we'll wait and see what we can get better on. And, uh, but again, I, I thought we came out pretty hard. All right, Mississippi Valley is next. What do we do to just get prepared for? Well, you just got to get ready for the next part. That's football. You know what I'm saying? Next week is next week. You know, so, and, and, and this one's done, and we'll enjoy it on the bus ride home. But, hey, it's, it's, it's back to work. You know, another tough opponent coming into town. So, you know, certainly it's good to finally get to come back home and play uh, on the reservation. But, uh, again, we got to get ready. Uh, working off, you know, coming off last week, you know, game talk, you know, establish ourselves, you know, what we wanted to do offensively, passing and throwing. You know, we finally, finally, you know, sort of got into a good groove. We, we figured out what was going on. We fit, it fit well for us. In the second half, you guys were able to establish the run a little bit. There were a couple of runs from Ragsdale and uh, Baker. Oh, yes, I mean, when we, our backs are, you know, we are plenty for them in the backfield. It don't matter who, you know, who's in the game, the job will get done. O-line, you know, what's tremendous up front this whole game, passing-wise and in the running game. And I think you guys were able to break the lead up a little bit. I think uh, they were trying to come up and just stop the run, and you were able to hit a couple of um, uh, passes down the middle and down the sideline. I know uh, Toilet George caught a couple passes there. Oh, yes, sir. Our defense made some key stops for us. A lot of us were going to score up on the scoreboard. Okay, next week, going back home, we got Valley at home and uh, another Swack East game. Uh, you know. That's going to be a big game. We know Valley is the uh, rivalry and state game because uh, it's always tough playing Valley. We're looking forward to it. Okay. Yes, sir. Tell me what you saw when you saw Tillet going down the sideline. Tell me what you saw. I saw the Sages off the hash, quarter kind of squatted. I knew Sarge was wild down the field. You know, uh, he, he's been well, you know, for, me for the, my whole four years here. I knew he'd make a play for me. I started off slow. What did the coach tell y'all to get y'all just to get back into the moment? It was mainly us players ourselves, and you know, we wanted to, you know, get to the game. You know, we didn't want to start off slow. We them towards the end, you know, for ourselves, you know, for our teammates, for our brothers. I think uh, in the first half, we came out a little slow and we picked it up in the second half. We came back and gathered ourselves to do what we need to do. And then after that, you know, we just defensively, they, we, they couldn't get the ball, they couldn't score. Offensively, they started off real, real good in the second half, and then it started going a little flat. You know, start getting three and out, so we got to pick that up. All right. Everybody cool, buckle, we'll be all right. Everybody get the call and just play football. You know, we had some different calls in. They were going up tempo. We see we was playing some base defense, and everybody was cool. We had no problems. Everybody was jumping out of the gap a little bit. You know, had a little the first game jersey when we first get in. After that, we were good. Coach told y'all that, uh, that during this pregame, show them that y'all 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 can compete with the FBS. Yes. How did that translate into the game? Um, I think I think. Uh, our effort from last week carried over to this week. I mean, we're not gonna. I don't think we're not gonna play anybody in conference as, well as good as Georgia Tech. They're ranked 16th in the nation. And so, you know, we knew that same effort that we had to play Georgia Tech. 